You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad Gate. <laughs> our Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting our Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Ara Habaki. Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. We've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right then. Do it! Karin! We trust you. If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! no longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos Terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now, finally, the last one. <laughs> these years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... To sacrifice your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Karin! Karin, I...
What? This is... the red strings. But how? Beautiful. Does that mean we pulled it off? The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means... Mm. By traveling into the past, I wonder if we... changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. It's beautiful. I wish you could see it. Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fabuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunad Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? <laughs> Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice... It's you... Wait... If you're here... Then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? Hmm? I don't know him... Do I?
I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Superstitious stuff no, like that. No, I've never done it. You I should come along to interviews yeah. You too, Luca. So I was prepared. It sounds like I a lot of fun. The article when it what comes preparation out. should I make? Sure. I guess I'll join you. Oh, Yuito! Sorry, am I late? Major General Fubuki isn't here yet. Well, let's hang out until everyone gets here. The weather's nice enough. These cherry blossoms are as beautiful as ever. Even though history changed, Seto and Nagi, their deaths weren't erased. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping for a miracle, but I guess I need to face reality. Anyway, how have you been feeling? I'm fine right now. I can still use my power, but thanks for your concern. You're always worried about other people. I think that's amazing. You're still the same. You always look for the best in people. What? That was sudden. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you took me in after my mistakes and showed me the right way. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you too. You were always saving my butt. Also, I think you and the others guided me a lot too. So, I guess that means we found a path we could take together. I see. Maybe Yuito Platoon felt so nice because you were the one in charge. You could call it a family. I don't have any family left, but the warmth I felt in the Yuito Platoon was just like it. Family? <laughs> then I guess you'd be the oldest brother. <laughs> I'm basically the same age as Chairman Sumeragi. Oh, but your body is still young. <laughs> you decided to stop acting old. Uh, right. I still have a lot of life to enjoy. <laughs> Don't make it sound like a chore. You have to ease up. You're so serious. Oh, right. We should go to that gyoza place again. I registered an account on their app. You too? I actually registered on the app as well. Okay, let's go try out some of the new stuff on the menu next time. It seems that you and Kasane have something to do with the fact that we're the only people who realize that history has changed. When the world was altered, we were connected to Red Strings users through SAS. So we became observers as well. Well, it's all speculation. Regardless, that time travel power is incredibly strong. If history was going to change, it could have made someone else head of PR. Ugh, I'm beat. You do seem pretty busy lately. You're booked for constant interviews, so you don't have time to slack off. If you understand, then take over for me. I really am going to quit being the PR person, I mean it. You say that now, but the fact that you're going to keep working in the OSF means that you're worried about Major General Fubuki. Oh boy. You really do have some obsession about siblings. How many times do I have to tell you I don't care about my brother that much? Obsession. Well, I'm a younger brother, so maybe I want to dream. Are things not going well with former Chief Kaito? The thing about family and siblings is that you can't cut ties that easily, even if you hate them. And sometimes, those ties aren't cut when you thought they were. You know what I mean, right? So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I see. Those are some grim prospects. Yours aren't as complicated as mine. So you should help out Major General Fubuki. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. 
Ugh, good grief. Are you trying to say that since you're a younger brother, you understand people who have older siblings who make their lives difficult? <laughs> well, more or less. I'm sure you didn't need me to point out that you and Major General Fubuki have a special bond. You're such a dreamer. We don't have anything like that. Besides, Fubuki isn't a kid. He decides how he wants to handle this history. I may be his sister, but it's not my place. I see. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's none of my business. God, you never change. You're frustratingly good-natured. You know, you should be worrying more about yourself. <laughs> really? But that is also your strength. It has to be exhausting, though. No, well, don't worry. I don't plan on quitting the OSF for now. Fubuki isn't even part of my consideration. There's a lot of benefits to a stable job once you learn all the tricks to slack off. Okay, got it. You're staying because of Major General Fubuki. <laughs> That's a relief. Good on you. So you're going to pretend you didn't hear me. You might actually have what it takes to be a politician. Major General Fubuki is late. Maybe we should contact him. By the way, don't you want to talk to everyone? You should. I'll contact Major General Fubuki in the meantime. A world where Alice is alive. This is what Karin wanted. Though it is only in hindsight. What my brother did... I believe it was wrong. But I think I felt his thoughts for a moment at the end there. I don't agree with him. But for now, I am trying to accept this world. By the way, did you have your brain examined? Yeah. My power was acquired, so they said I have a very high chance of losing it. I see. Don't look so down. I said I don't care about it. I'll be alright. You really are strong. I must bolster myself so I don't fall into despair. You climbed the mountain with me, so I can't look glum in front of you. You don't have to pretend to be happy. Karin was... I know. And I appreciate that. However, I want to push my limits here. The fact that my brother vanished is confusing. But whatever this world is now, I did have a brother. If this is the world my brother wished for, then I want to watch over it and be a part of it as well. I want to be strong for that. Stronger than him. Yeah. Even if Karin was the one who created this current timeline, it's up to us to create the future. Are you planning on retiring from the OSF? <laughs> Nothing gets past you. I've already put in my request. I'll be back to being a civilian after I take care of a few things. I can't stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Even if you didn't lose your power, I think you would have still chosen retirement in order to protect this country differently from the OSF. You think so? You might be right. I realize that there are a lot of different ways to help people. Yes. We will both do what we can to create a better future. I want to use this given power to carry out my duties in the OSF. Even if it was given to me, I should use it to the fullest. I've come to terms with the many parts that make me who I am. You truly are a Septentrion. So reliable. I'll keep doing my best, too. We might be going about it differently, but I'm sure we're striving for the same future. Oh. It is important to maintain your physical health after your retirement if you're going to accomplish something significant. I can help you come up with a training regimen. <laughs> so that part of you hasn't changed. You really are amazing. Okay, don't make it too tough though. I was thinking maybe I would apply for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. I want to see how people lived on the moon. Then, maybe I'll sort of understand what Togetsu was trying to do. Telepathy probably won't reach here from the moon. 
I wonder if Wacharu will cry because he misses me. I'm just joking. <laughs> Even without my power or SAS, I'm still connected to my brother and everyone else. It's like an ability that's more than a power. It looks like the cryogenic sleep chamber stopped functioning when Babe went down. My old associates were taken into custody by the government. Well, they can't do anything without Babe anyway. I'm in a pretty bad spot too. Well, I guess it's obvious they're suspicious of me as well. There's also the thing with Chairman Sumeragi. I'm on release without indictment, hunting others for now, but... But I'll probably be arrested soon. I see. Don't look at me like that. I know you want to say I told you so. I want you to pay for what you did, but I don't feel smug about it. You're one of us. Even if you did some bad things. Don't you find it hard to live with that personality? I managed to make it to 16 like this, so no. <laughs> That's true. So what are your plans now? I'll retire. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. Then come visit me if I get thrown in prison. I'd like to know how things are going and how Sugumi is doing. Okay. My brother might get caught too, so I can visit you when I visit him. Hey, am I just an afterthought? <laughs> I'm kidding. Besides, Major General Fubuki said that your sentence would be lighter because of everything you did to help. That's why instead of worrying about what will happen when you're caught, you should worry about what you'll do after. After that? I'm sure I'll be discharged from the OSF. I heard the Lunar Surface Survey Project will be going forward, so I'll probably help with... No, it's still a little too hard to go back home to the moon. I'll probably just stay here and clean up the Togetsu mess. I've been on Earth for a while, but I've done so much lying in my life. It might be good to finally live honestly for once. Then teach me about politics. Why me? Do I look like I'd be good at it? Weren't you the commander of the colonists? I looked it up after Kasane told me your real name. You're actually really good at politics. Aw oh, man, it sucks to have so much information about you etched in history. Well, I'm tired living a life of lies. It might not be so bad being your tutor. Blue sky is... beautiful. The sun feels warmer than before somehow. I'm sure the animals are happy the extinction belt is gone too. We have to put the hideout's potted plants outside sometimes. Kagura helps me with that. So, did you help with the hideout's plants? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I put them out, give them water and nutrients. Was that bad? No. I'm glad you took care of them, even with everything that's going on. It's because I took what you taught me seriously. The Spathophyllum buds are getting pretty big. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm just glad that they can bloom at the hideout. That's not it. I was glad to stay in your platoon. What? Oh, you mean when Major General Fubuki said he would reorganize us? Yes. I was a little worried then. Of course, I decided to stay in the platoon after some careful consideration. That decision was about parting with the OSF. I don't handle change very well. But you still came with us. Thanks. It was really reassuring when you decided to come. I need to thank you, too. You've given me so much courage. You became my friend and told me I can be who I am. Ah, you're making me blush. I barely did anything. I wish I could be in Yuito Platoon forever, but that won't happen, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. And besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. It's important to do what you want. It's a little unfortunate, but we'll still be friends, won't we? 
Of course we're friends. And student teacher. You're like the sun to me, Yuito. <laughs> what? Because plants need sun to grow. Even if you leave the OSF, I know you'll be working hard somewhere. That's enough to keep me motivated to grow. Then you're like the soil to me. The land, earth. Even if we're not in the same place, let's do our best where we are. <laughs> let's have a competition to see whose flower will be prettier. I won't lose. The history we know only exists in our heads, right? I think we should make a memorial before our memories fade. I'm gonna write down the history that we lived in a historical novel. It'll just be fiction to the rest of the world, though. I'll need your help, too. Of course, I'll do everything I can to support you when you need as well. Just like always. Even if you quit the OSF, that won't change. This is just between us, though, okay? In this history, it wasn't Karin that started a rebellion with Seiron, but another OSF soldier. He's a known veteran, and I recognize his face, but I don't think he's an equal to Karin. However, history is taking almost the same path. It's something that's beyond human comprehension. Oh yeah, I heard you've been having some trouble. The crows are all over you. It's my family. Now that Kaito is out of the government, the press has turned on him and are just saying whatever they want. Since I was part of the operation that got rid of the Extinction Belt, they've been hounding me. It's the same with you, right? That's true, but you have the advantage of being a Sumeragi. Public opinion in the press just latch on to what's easy to understand. Most people don't try to see what's really going on. Oh, are you actually worried about me? That's not what I meant! I was just checking because it wouldn't be good if it got in the way of our missions. <laughs> I'm fine. It's not like I'm being chased around by the crows all day every day. Things will settle down eventually. Oh, but I might already be retired by then. I see. <laughs> if you retire, you'll be a civilian. Weak. You can sit and watch me climb the ranks. <laughs> you don't change, do you? Though you're right. I won't be able to fight the others anymore. I won't be able to go watch the thunderclouds outside the city like we did either. Apparently, New Himuka's climate changed after the extinction belt disappeared. Hmm? We might get a chance to see lightning up close again. I wouldn't be opposed to taking you. You can thank me later. <laughs> wow, conceited much? It would be nice to see them with you again. Yuito. Chairman Sumeragi, your father. This new history didn't change what happened to him. The sins of Togetsu didn't change either. I plan to atone for assisting them. I hope I can help with the dismantling of Togetsu as well. What are you going to do? I heard you were retiring, but what about after that? Oh, you heard already? Of course. I was the leader of Kyoka Platoon, so I'll hear things amongst the command. Right. For now, I'd like to do some studying. I also have to clean up the scandals around the Sumeragi name. Oh, then I might be able to help you, too. Huh? What do you mean? I also plan on retiring once things calm down. Since I'm testifying to what Togetsu did, it would only cause trouble if I stayed in the OSF. I see. I guess that's what it means to bring what Togetsu did to light. If I leave the OSF, there won't be anything tying me down anymore. I think I can also convey the efforts Chairman Sumeragi went through to protect New Himuka. But why? Even if you feel responsible for Togetsu, what my father did... Is Wakana being happy not a good enough reason? My mom? You mean when you were monitoring my mom? Yes. Chairman Sumeragi certainly took part in some inhumane activities. Even if it was allowed politically, he can't be forgiven. 
But that's not everything Chairman Sumeragi was. He got in the way of Togetsu. He was assassinated because he tried to protect New Himuka from Togetsu. I'm sure of it. The Chairman's merits and demerits should both be made public. That should be detailed in Togetsu's materials. I didn't think anyone would look at it that way. I'm glad. To be honest, I was a little depressed about it. Because some people say the Sumeragi family was controlling New Himuka for their own interests. My father and brother did some horrible things. That shouldn't be all. It should all be brought to light. I'll help you do that. Thanks. Even if it's the hard truth, I'll face it head on. Aunt Alice is really nice. But there are still times I just don't know what to say to her. Oh, my mom and dad left a message. They told me to invite you for dinner. Food tastes better when you eat with friends. <laughs> it's just like when we were little. Oh, I heard you put in your resignation. Yeah, I made up my mind. Once everything calms down and the OSF is back to business as usual, I plan to retire. So it's really true. Well, I'm sure there are so many things you still want to do. Do your best in your new life. I'll do my best in the OSF. I guess, well, we should both do our best. <laughs> I guess that's a good summary, but you're right. I mean, I feel safe leaving the OSF in your hands, Hanabi. <sighs> really? I'm not good enough to say that you can count on me, and there are so many obstacles I need to overcome. But I'm confident that I won't give up. I know. It's not easy trying to live up to your ideals, but I know you can do it. Thanks. Just watch. I'll prove I can. And I'll be watching you too. Yeah. Oh, uh, didn't you say you had something to tell me? I can't say yet. Be ready, because I will tell you someday. Once I become the person I want to be. What do you mean, be ready? I don't really understand, but I'll be waiting until you say it's time. Major General Fubuki is late. Maybe we should contact him. By the way, don't you want to talk to everyone? No, I'm good. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here. Little by little. Alright, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in the 
their right mind asks to do more work. Yuito. How are your powers? There haven't been any big changes so far. I'll stay in the OSF a little while longer, then retire once everything calms down a bit. And after that? Well, I've got a lot on my mind in terms of what I want to do. It might sound conceited, but I want to change the world so duds like me have a place in it. I'd also like to face what my father and brother have done. I'm a member of the Sumeragi family, after all. And there's the other particles as well. Other particles? The extinction belt is gone. Yeah, but it's originally from space, right? It could appear again someday, since we didn't get it at the source. That's why I think we should study the other particles more closely, so we can eventually prevent, or even cure, metamorphosis. I had no idea you had so much on your mind. Does that mean you're going to get involved in politics? Sounds that way, huh? Although, I'm not really cut out to be a politician. Really? From what I've seen of you lately, I bet you'd be good at it. What, really? I don't know if it'll suit me, but I'm thinking about going to college. I want to study politics, and not because of who my dad was. I want to change New Himuka. You've made your decision too, haven't you? Yes. I've decided to go. There. To the moon. We'll be pretty far away from each other. But at least... I can always look up at night. Every one of us is born alone. But, even though we're alone, we can connect with each other. Where we are, doesn't really matter. Kasane... I... I'll keep living, no matter what. <laughs>